Hello everybody, my name is The Seven Worlds Gaming on YouTube and today I'm going to be showing you some of the cool stuff that's currently happening on the PUBG Mobile Beta 0.5.0 So let's go ahead and get started Now one of the biggest changes you're going to go ahead and see on this update is going to be there's going to be a new map and the map is going to be called Miramar Now if you want to go ahead and select that map what you can go ahead and do is just go to the top left hand side where it says select it tap on that and you're going to be able to select from Miramar or Aaron Jail. but for the purposes of this video we're just going to go ahead and select Miramar now before you start a match I would actually suggest to go ahead and check your settings and go into graphics because HDR is now available if your device is actually compatible keep in mind Ultra HD will be coming soon and you will be able to adjust your frame rate if you scroll down you will be able to see the styles and a picture of what this style looks like and if you keep scrolling down, you'll have access to anti-aliasing and auto adjusted graphics. So make sure you go ahead and check that out before you start a game. Now that you have selected your graphics, feel free to back out of that and check out the arcade mode because now there's two modes that you can select from. You can actually go ahead and select quick match, which is an eight minute match, or you can go ahead and choose sniper training, which is a 15 minute sniping battle. Another really cool feature that has been added to the game is regions. Now you can actually go ahead and showcase what region you're from. All you have to go ahead and do is just tap on your account name on the top right hand side. There's going to be an arrow pointing there where to tap on that. And as you can see there, there's currently an American flag next to my name. And you can actually go ahead and change that. Just go ahead and press on it and you'll be able to select whichever region you're from. You can actually just go ahead and type in China. It will go ahead and show up China or any other country you're from. Once you go ahead and select it, it will actually show next to your name once you get a kill in the game. And it will go ahead and look something like this. And if you are into outfits and items, make sure you keep an eye out on this shop because there's going to be some really cool stuff coming to the game. I'm currently unable to show you because it is the beta, but once the update on the global version is actually released, you'll have access to all of that. So make sure to check the shop once the update is released. And the preloading area is pretty much just a prison. As you can see here, we're currently on the recreation side of the prison, but don't worry, you will be able to escape through this prison. And if you want to, you will actually be able to access this prison once you're playing the game. Just know it's gonna be on the bottom left hand side of your map if you maybe wanna go ahead and check it out. And as you can see right there, we were able to escape the prison. And let me go ahead and show you just what the actual map looks like and just take a look at all these angles right here from the airplane. The map looks absolutely stunning. You will start off with 100 people and you will have a chance to visit some of these cities. Now, the cities that I'm about to show you are going to be some of the cities that I think are probably going to be the most populated once people start playing and once people start landing. And the first city that I'm going to go ahead and show you is called Los Leones. Now, this city is maybe the biggest one. If not, I think it is the biggest city in the map. So make sure you are aware of that. Make sure there's more than likely going to be a lot of people trying to land on it. And do not worry, you will have places to hide, but there will also be a lot of angles for you to get shot from. So make sure you stay aware of that. And this is just one of the plazas areas here. You will be able to find loot there, but just make sure you keep an eye out because if not, you might just run into the fountain like I did. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you some different angles here from the city as well. As I mentioned, a lot of angles where you can get shot from, but don't worry, a lot of places where you can take cover from and loot. And these are some of the other places that you will be able to go to in the map. El Pozo. Valle del Mar Hacienda del Patron, which this one actually might be one of my favorite ones because there's a lot of action. Cementerio Municipal, if you're not scared of looting some graveyards or maybe destroying some people there too. And this one, Campo Militar, which this one is pretty much going to be like the military base on Erangel. Let me tell you something, the loot that you will be able to find on that place is absolutely insane. Now let me go ahead and show you just some of the new vehicles that you will have available to you in this new map. And the first vehicle that I'm going to go ahead and show you is the pickup truck. Now keep in mind, these cars that I'm currently going to go ahead and show you are exclusive to the Miramar map. So if you want to go ahead and try them out, make sure you go ahead and look for them in the Miramar map. Now keep in mind, some of these vehicles that I'm going to be showing you have a lot of windows and it might be super easy for you to get shot out of. Nonetheless, they look absolutely stunning and you were able to see just 
the second car that I'm gonna go ahead and show you there in the background and it's none other than the bus yes that's right the bus is now in the game and just look at that beauty how it looks like in the background as well oh my gosh I cannot wait to see my full squad loaded up and ready to just hunt some people on the bus and last but not least you will have the pickup truck number two which nonetheless it looks absolutely stunning I'm pretty sure this one's familiar to some of you guys now keep in mind all of these vehicles you will be able to use them to run over people just like that so make sure you have your fun at it and make sure you get used to them some of those cars are really really good for the map just because they are made just for that terrain so make sure you go ahead and test them out and once you get your hands on them let us know in the comments below which one do you like more now i'm gonna go ahead and just show you some of the gameplay that i was able to get on this map just at least the start of it and i was actually landed at the campo militar and this is honestly the first time i ever landed in this place and boy oh boy was i surprised because just to my right there was so bad in landing at first i thought i was gonna be the only one there but i guess there's already getting traction and he was first to land look at this <laughs> needless to say i was uh, i was quite scared i was gonna go ahead and try to go at him and just try to punch him in the face but i think that would have probably ended very bad for me so i decided to do the smart thing which was just to leave him alone and try to find a gun first also just a heads up we will be doing tips and tricks and i will be also starting a series on how to win in this game so if you're not already subscribed make sure you do so and over here i'm just pretty much using the third person to my advantage because i don't have a helmet i don't have anything besides just my whitey tidies and a gun so hopefully i'll be able to destroy this guy right here I was able to spot him i'm using the leaning and right there he stepped out just so i could serve him a can of whoop ass there you have it right there if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button and hopefully you are very excited for all the upcoming stuff on this update i will also be making a video later just showing you some of the new guns that are going to be available in this map it has been the seven worlds gaming on youtube and i'll see you on the next one